Good evening and welcome. We are the Chattanooga Boys Choir celebrating nearly 70 years as your community children's choir. We are just so grateful to once again be a part of this incredible event. Uh, Hamilton Sings is just such an, a fantastic opportunity to show off some amazing students, some incredibly talented teachers, and to celebrate the gift that music is. Um, my name is Vic Oaks. I've been with this great group for about 20 years now, and many of our boys choir members that are on the stage were actually a part. Of, how many of you, I know we've had some COVID interruptions, but how many of you were a part of Hamilton Sings when you were in fifth grade? Awesome. So I am certainly indebted to Hamilton County Schools for what you've done to make sure that we can all enjoy this incredible in the ways that we can. Um, we are excited to be able to present to you this evening uh, a little bit of pre-concert music and enjoyment before we get to hear uh, of the fantastic work that has been going on all day today. Uh, that first piece that you heard, uh, accompanied by Jenny Parker at the piano and by Kristen Wyram, our associate conductor, was a setting of Jubilate Deo, which is a text that has been set for thousands of years, sing a new song, and yet that setting by Victor Johnson was written just about three years ago. So as music often does, what is old is new again. And so speaking of that, the next piece we're gonna sing for you is John Lennon's Let It Be. Uh, just this past Saturday, we did a, a program, a concert of all British invasion music, uh, which is music of the Beatles and the Rolling Stones and Mike and the Mechanics with a local Beatles cover band. And we're going to turn around in a few months, sing a big program with full orchestra and music from all over. And so it's just amazing what music can do when we have a chance to explore cultures and languages and time periods through the lens of singing. This next piece, Let It Be, will feature Simon and Cademan helping us with some solos, and we hope you enjoy.
Again, what a joy it is to be with you uh, and, and our excitement uh, for you to get to have the chance to celebrate this gift of music and the way that we can celebrate the hard and incredible work of these students um, is just not something that happens everywhere. And so we're so grateful to all of our incredible music teachers, supportive principals, and amazing community members like yourselves. Um, the Chattanooga Boys Choir, like I mentioned earlier, is getting ready to celebrate 70 years in your community. Uh, we have students from as young as third grade all the way through seniors of high in high school. We actually have a concert and the festival workshop with them this Saturday with the choir from Vanderbilt University. Uh, and so we're always at work trying to do what we can to make sure that Chattanooga continues to thrive in its music making and we're grateful for that opportunity. And so today we close with a piece entitled Give Us Hope by a composer based out of New York. His name is Jim Papoulis. There is a clapping section that starts in a little bit into this piece. We encourage you as well as you can to clap along. This is Give Us Hope. Thank you again.
Good evening. My name is Roberta Eccles, and I am a proud retired teacher from Hamilton County Schools. And <laughs> and this is my church. And we are so glad that you all are here today. We are glad that you're crammed into these pews. We're sorry that some of you have a limited sight um, visibility, but we're so glad you're here. This is one of the favorite things that we do as a church. So we're glad you're here. If your child gets in the car tonight and is longing to have some more music experiences more than the wonderful ones they have at school, we have a school of fine arts that has guitar lessons and piano lessons and voice lessons and drum. I mean, there's just a, a bunch of lessons that they can take here. Um, there are, are some scholarships available. So um, if that is a conversation in your car, then give our church a call. And if you, I would be a horrible church member if I didn't say this to you. If you need a place to go to church, we'll take you. We our church is a bunch of different people. Nobody's perfect. And we love being here. We love worshiping together. So thank you for letting your children come to our, our church today. Thank you for Hamilton Sings. And I think, I think they're ready for us. So here we go, Hamilton Sings 2022. Good evening. The students are making their way downstairs. We always want them to enjoy the pre-concert because they've worked really hard today, so we like to give them some treats when we can. Um, and listening to the boys' choir is definitely a treat. My name is Emma Mullins, and not only am I a music teacher in Hamilton County, I'm also a graduate of Hamilton County. I am... Thank you. I am so very proud to continue the legacy of arts excellence in the county that gave me my own musical foundation. At this time, I would like to remind you to silence your cell phones. They're good to go up, thank you. And allow yourself and those around you to be able to enjoy the efforts of your students without interruption. We are making an audio and video recording of tonight's program, so please watch with your own eyes and not through the lens of your camera. We've taken lots of pictures today, lots, on phones, on real cameras, and then some more on phones because we are so proud of our students. And we're gonna continue to take those pictures during the concert tonight. You will be able to view those photos on the Hamilton uh, Sings Facebook page, and our concert is being live streamed on the Hamilton County Facebook page, and that video will remain there, so you can email it to all of your friends and family who live in other places. As the students continue, we've got a lot of kids, as you're seeing, so it's a long line. As our last students are making their way up, I would like to introduce you to our MCs for tonight's performance. Justin Hawthorne from DuPont Elementary. Masai Davenport from Hardy Elementary. Fatima Kasai from Udawa Elementary. Olivia Hodge from McConnell Elementary. Kinsley Welch from Daisy Elementary and Eddie Castaneda Miguel from Clifton Hills Elementary. Good evening. Today, 142 students and 41 teachers from across Hamilton County Elementary Schools and volunteer teachers from the Scenic City Core Rail Chapter of Sweet Edelins International have joined together to create the program you are about to enjoy.
Our concert tonight will be conducted and accompanied by Hamilton County Elementary music teachers and students. To show you what we mean, please enjoy this selection, Get It Together Harambe, with student accompaniment. next piece is special for a few reasons. De Colores is a traditional Spanish folk song that means of color. The special part that is Maestro Aishmael Sedevo wrote an original arrangement that includes several of our elementary music teachers to accompany our singing of this traditional song. Maestro Sandoval is a, the assistant conductor of the Chattanooga Symphony and Opera and serves as the conductor of the CSO Youth Symphony. Ishmael believes in expanding the traditional canon of repertoire to include more representation from diverse composers of all walks of life. The CSO, especially Maestro Sandoval, have been an amazing partner during the planning of this event. Please enjoy De Colores, followed immediately by America the Beautiful.
Since the beginning of Hamilton Sings, we have been fortunate to work with the Cynic City Chapter of Sweet Adelons International. Jennifer Cook graciously created an arrangement for us and taught us to sing in the barbershop style. Hey everyone. I just wanted to, um, by the way, hi, I'm Jennifer Cook. I direct the Scenic City Chorus here in Chattanooga. We are a barbershop chorus. And today, as every year, I enjoy working with these students so much. We learned a lot about barbershop singing. Some things we learned is that barbershop is done a cappella and in four parts. So we learned a song today that we're going to sing a cappella and then break it down into four parts. So I hope you enjoy. So an event of this size takes a lot of people. So I have a couple thank yous that I want to give. First, we want to say thank you to First Baptist Church for providing this beautiful space for us to be in all day. They let us come in and take over. Yes. Specifically, I want to thank Jeff Parker and Francis Morandi, who are our music staff here. I also want to thank our AV team, Brian and Melissa Lassiter, Tyler Mullins, Jordan Parker, and John Eccles. They're the reason you can hear and later watch again this wonderful concert. Um, we also had some great food today, your students will tell you. Um, we got to enjoy some Chick-fil-A, and yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. So um, we had, we want to thank our food sponsors, Taco Mama Sita, Chick-fil-A, Off the Farm Barbecue, and the Chattanooga Boys Choir, who also provided our pre-concert entertainment. None of the food would have been here in this building without the help of John Oakes, who also works for the Boys Choir. We are so thankful for that community partnership. We want to thank um, the CSO. They fed the teachers breakfast and brought us coffee, and we're really, really thankful for that. <laughs> I think some teachers had coffee with their dinner. Um, and they also loaned us Maestro Sandoval for the day. Um, we want to thank Sweet Adelines, who spent the day with us. Arts Build, um, 
and the leadership and staff of Hamilton County, especially the Hamilton County Schools Foundation, which is headed by Krissa Barclay. If you are a Hamilton County school board member, county commissioner, school principal, government for the city or the county, will you please stand up? Thank you all. I saw some of them slip in and they don't always like to stand up to be recognized. Our founders are um, Charlene Cook and Claire Stockman. They um, had the idea for this and they, pr they presented it to the music teachers and I don't know if you know music teachers, but they're crazy enough to say yes. So um, at this time, I want to recognize all the Hamilton County ele uh, elementary music teachers who have worked so hard today and in the weeks and month prior to today. It is an honor to work alongside such passionate, caring, and talented educators. If you are an elementary music teacher, please stand. And now it's time for some more music. You've already heard students accompany one piece tonight. Our next piece, Simple Gifts, also has student accompaniment. Both of these, those parts were learned today in our teacher-led sessions. In its first year, Hamilton Sings was entirely funded by the Public Education Foundation's Teacherpreneur Program. Since then, we have relied on generous community support and donations from parents. As you enjoy our next piece, you'll have the opportunity to help continue the legacy of Hamilton Sings. There's a QR code on the cover of your program if you wish to donate electronically. Please make sure you scroll down and designate the arts for your gift. What makes this next piece even more special is that it was written by a Hamilton County music teacher. Sarah Tillich graciously wrote this piece specifically for Hamilton seeing students. This T wrote a song when I'm singing for all of us to share here today. She wrote it especially for us for this space on this day. 
It's about the way singing together helps us in our lives. We hope you will enjoy it.
The song you just heard, Lift Every Voice and Sing, was written to be performed in celebration of President Lincoln's birthday in 1919. It was originally performed by children. Over time, it has become the national anthem of hope and re resilience of African Americans. Hamilton County Schools has the distinct privilege to educate a diverse population of students. We believe every student should see their story represented in the music we perform. Before we present our final selection, I wanna give you some directions on how to take your child from this place. We love them, but we want them to go home with you. Um, when the students leave the stage, they will be escorted to the fellowship hall, which is directly below us. We ask that only one grown up go down to get them. There's a lot of them, there's a lot of you, we won't all fit. So if you'll send one grown up to the fellowship hall, to get there you'll go down the stairs at the back of the narthex, which is where you entered. Please make sure that your child's music teacher knows that you're taking your child so that we can also go home. Thank you all very much. Por favor, uh, por favor, manda a un, un padre para que venga a traer su estudiante aquí abajo. Throughout our lives, the fine arts support our souls and emotions. The past three years have been an excellent reminder that no matter what is happening, in the world, the arts are cons constant that continue to bring people together. For our final selection, please enjoy How Can I Keep From Singing, conducted by our host for the day, Jeff Parker of First Baptist Chattanooga. 